Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is 5 Minutes of Missionary Gabby GP. Today I want to talk to you about social media and being mindful of your digital footprint. Why is that even a thing? Well, right now we are in a social media frenzy. There are all sorts of apps out there and so many social media platforms, it's so hard to keep up. Sometimes it's also possible that you could have multiple accounts on this particular social network and you could even forget about certain profiles. But it's important that you are mindful of the digital footprint as an individual or as an entity. What do I mean by digital footprint? Well, digital footprint in simple terms is really the traceable interaction that you have with any online platform that is sitting on the World Wide Web. It could be something on Facebook, could be on Snapchat, uh, it could be in your emails. Sometimes we interact uh, with the World Wide Web without really realizing the extent to which our information is sitting on there. And so um, you find instances where somebody goes for a job interview and they ask the interview as far as they know, they did really great. Then they realize to say that they were not considered for that particular vacancy. And when they trace the scoring, they realize to say that part of the scoring had to do with some of the things that they post uh, online. You realize to say that now the world is watching beyond just what you present in your CV or the things that you say uh, in a job interview. They are watching your online activity because it's influencing you and the image that you present as an individual, but it's also the image that you present that affects the particular organization you work for uh, or indeed uh, your family or the particular social grouping that you are in. And so it becomes important that you as an individual are mindful of the things that you are pushing into the world wide web. It may be argued to say that right now there are all sorts of things that are being done to make the internet secure. But if the truth be taught, there really is no ultimate privacy as far as the world wide web is concerned. The moment you send an email, the moment that you push information into the world wide web. And the big tech companies won't tell you this, but multiple individuals and companies are buying information about individuals, about users, about possible customers and all of that. And so I'm sure you've been in moments where you go onto Google, you search for a particular product or service. The next minute you know, there's an ad popping up on your Facebook an ad showing up on your website and all of that. Sometimes even a text message, text message coming through to your phone, selling you that particular thing that you were searching for. All of these algorithms and tools that have been created uh, to really drill down the information that you are looking for on a daily basis exposes you as an individual. So it becomes critical that as you interact with the world wide web as you interact with social media you are mindful of the things that you are pushing whether it's things you are sending privately as you may think in your direct messages whether it's things that you are posting in a private or closed group at the end of the day that information can be accessed by a third party so you must have a think through the information that you are channeling across to the world or individuals. If this information was to be discovered 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, how will it impact your life? How will it impact your family? Are you posting images of your kids on Facebook? How does that affect their digital footprint? And how will it impact their lives in the future? Have a think about that. This has been Gabby GP and that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification button, share far and wide so somebody can benefit from this. Remember, possibilities are infinite, only your thoughts set the limit. Move.